Our next question comes from a Donald Trump on Twitter who asked this morning, some states use drop boxes for the collection of universal mail-in ballots. So who is going to collect the ballots and what might be done to them prior to tabulation? A rigged election? So bad for our country. Only absentee ballots acceptable. That is a great question, uh, Mr. Trump. Thank you for asking so that we can explain how ballot drop boxes are part of Colorado's safe and secure elections that have been run by Republicans and Democrats alike. Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger with the answer to that gentleman's question. Once you put your mail-in ballot in a drop box, how does it get from here to the clerk and recorder to be counted? And how can you trust the process? The key word in the process is chain of custody. Douglas County Clerk and Recorder Merlin Klotz is a Republican, supports the president, and supports mail-in ballots. It's a very secure process. It's proven. Here's where it starts. Douglas County even made this video from last year, showing how election judges collect ballots from drop boxes. The judges are from two opposing parties, perhaps a Republican and a Democrat, or a Republican and unaffiliated. Their first step is checking the drop boxes tamper seal. So if when they arrive at the box, if that seal over the keyhole has been tampered with, they'll see that and report it to the Secretary of State right away. When they find that the seal has not been tampered with, they remove it, put it on the log sheet, and initial. Then they remove the ballots from the box into a secure travel bag and initial the sheet once again. They use this zip seal to seal the zippers of the bag. That is recorded on this part of the seal log. So that way you know even in transport, if anyone touched or tried to break the zip seal on the bag containing the ballots, you would know that the judges would not initial they would report that to the Secretary of State immediately. A different pair of election judges from differing parties check the zip seal at the clerk and recorder's office. They initial the chain of custody sheet if it's still locked, and then the envelopes are removed for the ballots to be counted while being watched by surveillance cameras. And the whole way through the process, we follow chain of custody. So there's a DNR or a dissimilar parties escorting that ballot through the entire process. And if you don't trust that enough, Drop boxes are monitored every minute they're open to accept ballots. And that videotape is retained for 25 months. So you can go back and audit the videotape. Here is that travel bag that Douglas County uses. It is big enough for thousands of ballots. Each county can have its own way of transport, but the two different election judges is constant in every county. And that fact that they have to be secured and locked is also the same. Uh, in this case, this is where they would zip tie the uh, zippers together and then put it through this hole here to make sure that you cannot open it without knowing. I hope this answers that gentleman's question from Washington, D.C., Kyle. I, I think there's a chance, actually, Marshall, that the gentleman in Washington, D.C. was not asking the question in good faith. And now all you're doing is launching a new conspiracy theory that a local TV reporter was seen with a bag <laughs> full of ballots. I asked about this from Douglas County if I could borrow this. They made sure they took all the identifying marks away. And knowing that it's just a zip tie that closes this, you can look now. There's nothing in it. There's no zip tie. When it gets filled at the next election, I have nothing to do with this. It's a clean break. <laughs> every time, every time I see you wrestling with that thing, it, it reminds me of like the last time I tried to set up a camping tent. You know, it just, just, it's just a canvas in every in every direction. All right, thank you, Marshall.